Hello world, this tutorial goes out to absolute beginners looking to start learning Python. So today, we will be talking about how to download Python, set up our computer to be able to write Python code, and finally run our first Python script. So first things first, we need to download Python if we haven't already, and to do this, we can head over to python.org slash downloads and click the download button. So you might see multiple versions of Python. I recommend either Python 3.11 or 3.12. So here, when you click the download button, you should either install an exe file if you're on Windows or a pkg file if you're on Mac. I'm on a Mac, so I'll download a pkg file and I'm just going to click save. And after the download is complete, click on it. And then you can click on the continue buttons that appear. So continue, 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 agree, install. And after a couple of minutes, Python should be installed on your computer. So now let's actually verify that it is installed. So to do this, we will use a terminal. So if you're on Windows, the equivalent will be called the command prompt. So for Mac, we use command space and then this spotlight search will appear and we type terminal and we hit enter and this thing will appear. So this thing is the terminal and we can use it to test if Python has been installed on our system. So I'm going to type Python 3. If Python is successfully installed, you should see this over here. So just now we installed Python 3.12 and here we have Python 3.12. So we should also see this triple arrow over here. So in this case, I have verified that Python is in fact installed on my computer. Next, we need to install an integrated development environment, which is IDE for short. So an IDE is essentially another application that we use to write our Python code in. For myself, I like to use Visual Studio Code, which is this thing over here, and we can download this for free. Similarly, we simply need to Google VS Code Download and click on the one that says code.visualstudio.com. So here, we then need to download either an exe file if you're on Windows or a DMG or PKG file if you're on Mac and then install it on your computer. So for me, I've already installed this. So next, we need to open our Visual Studio Code application. So similarly, for Mac users, we can hit command space to bring up Spotlight Search and let's search for Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio Code will open. So once you open Visual Studio Code, you should see something like this. So first things first, we need to select a folder. So we go to File and then we go to Open Folder. So this action will actually open an existing folder on your computer. So for me, I'm going to open my main folder. But for you, I recommend creating a folder somewhere easily accessible on your computer for this purpose. So I'm going to click on open. And for myself, since I'm already in main, I'll just remain here. So whatever files or folders that we create in VS Code will actually reflect on our computer's folder. Let's say I'm going to create 123.txt. And if I open this using my Max Finder, Whatever stuff that I create in VS Code will also be here. So for Windows, you can use your normal file explorer to verify this too. So after we have ensured that we are inside a folder, we can start writing Python code. We usually write our Python code inside a Python script file, which essentially ends with a .py. So let's create a Python script file now. So we come to here and we click the leftmost icon. So this creates a new file. So let's call it hello.py. And here we have a brand new Python script file. Next, let's write some super basic Python code. So I'm just going to print hello world. And this is it. So I'm going to save command s. And next, I'm going to run my Python code. So here is where I write my Python code. But here in this terminal is where I run my Python code. So if you do not see this, you can simply control tilde to bring up your terminal. Alternatively, you can click on this terminal. So once again, in this terminal, 
let's check if Python has been installed correctly. So we type Python 3, and here we have it. We have Python 3.12 over here. So I'm going to exit this. And this proves that Python has been successfully installed on my computer. So I'm going to clear this. And with this in mind, I can use this Python to run my newly written Python script. So here, I essentially type Python 3 space hello.py. And if I enter, I will print hello world. So as of now, we have written our first Python script and we have also successfully run our first Python script. So let's say I add two exclamation marks here and I do a save and if I rerun it, we will see hello world with two exclamation marks. So one very important thing that I want to bring up is autosave. So if your Visual Studio Code is newly installed, chances are that you do not have autosave enabled, which means that every time you make a change in any of your files, you need to either Command S or Control S to save it. So let's set up autosave here. So we go to our settings here and let's go to settings. And next, look for the one that says autosave and set it to after delay. So the default delay would be one second. So I'm going to Command S to save these settings and I'm going to close it. So as of now, whatever I type will be autosave. So let's add a one, two, three here and let's wait a while and I'm going to rerun my script. So notice that my 1, 2, 3 also appears here because of autosave, which doesn't require me to manually command S or control S. So thanks for watching, and hopefully this was clear and easy to understand. See you in the next one.